are aware that ethics are easier to understand on paper. But what is right conduct in general? How should we act personally when situations are unclear? Is civil disobedience the best option to solve an injustice? Dreams are a precious tool to shed light on those issues. The most frequent ethical concern in dream work is to know how to interfere in the life of others. Let us look at a few examples. I had in mind to use my third eye vision to find out what meditation symbol does Matthew need from me. Matthew was in trouble. I wanted to see if I could set him in the right direction with a meditation on a personalized symbol. The dream reply was, I go inside the house of a stranger who is out. Shortly after, I see the owner, an old lady, arriving in a car. I rush to pack into my white canvas bag the sweaters I left in the entrance. One is green, the other is ribbed and light gray. I want to make sure she does not find any trace of intrusion. You likely got the overall message. Now, my own version. I would intrude in the life of Matthew. He is a wise soul and would sense it immediately. I should not implement any meditation in spite of my good intentions to help him grow. I should not intercede to ease his way into alignment with his higher self either. Simply, I should not get involved in any manner. Later, a dream explained that Matthew feared the light imposed by outsiders. On the other hand, he could open up to doing the dream work himself when told about the possibility and the technique. Let us continue on the subject of what role to play in the life of others. The question was, should I tell my husband about his past lives, mainly the last life as a gypsy? For more than 10 years, I knew about my husband's brutal actions towards me in two previous incarnations we had in common. I also knew that our present commitments were to make sense of these past dramas. So far, my dream mind had told me to wait for the appropriate time to give the information. The dream is, I am dancing with my blonde and older sister in perfect harmony. She holds my waist firmly. The footwork feels great. I am surprised I can follow her lead so well for the two or three dances. Now comes my interpretation. My intention is good and in perfect alignment with my higher self's will. I should make the transition and disclose each of the facts. It will take care of the two former lives and this one as well. The third example is slightly more complex. I was asking, how was my husband affected by the informations about his past lives? My dream mind had told me I could finally reveal to my husband our terrible time together in two past incarnations, so I did but I still needed confirmation that it had positive consequences. The dream shows my husband and I at a party. I rush towards my favorite cake to cut it in eight pieces. I want to make sure that we get the best. I understand that we both should celebrate. My intervention led us to realize our common desire. It allowed us to enter the energy of number eight, that is, the ability to draw from our past life's experiences and use the energy of intent to create our own reality. It was the best choice. Examples of symbols expressing not to get involved are further in the education section of part 10. There are other ethical concerns. If a loved one has a terminal disease, you might like to talk to the higher self of the sick individual for advice. Father, are you ready to die? 
Or you might be in a desperate financial condition and think that twisting the truth to obtain work might make a difference. Then check ahead of time whether the scheme is worth it in this manner. What will happen if I lie during the job interview? And of course, do not forget to interrogate yourself. How do I abuse others? We all do. Dreams never deceive us, but we do try to fool ourselves and others, at times willingly, in an unethical way. Or others do it to us. Cover-ups and lies appear generally in the form of a covered head or face. The white outfit of the KKK shows intention to harm under the pretense of innocence. Black and white combined talk about a wish for a great outcome or first impression, but only part of the truth is revealed and that truth might not be savory. Blonde bangs stand for fine reasoning but a wish to keep it to oneself. Some symbols seem harmless but are not. So is vermilion orange. The red of passion dominates the yellow of the mind which should be in control. However, a fading orange and square napkin over the head of a playful toddler likely means that karmic material is being lifted and reduced. A new and joyful beginning is in the cards. <laughs> when yellow prevails, the intellect is balancing the emotions. Rejoice, all is well! Suicide is a topic of endless ethical controversies. Let us look at one case. The question was, Zanet, how did your suicide affect you? Zanet was a jihadist who had turned herself into a suicide bomber in the subway of Moscow, Russia. Many passengers were killed. The first dream displays upper torsos of several women laughing. It is at night in an empty landscape. I understand that the suicide is ironic. She might be in the company of her victims' spirits. She also knows it did not bring enlightenment. A second dream adds explanations. I am walking along a high wall. Suddenly, an opening reveals a yard covered with dead leaves. I'm curious about it as it looks pretty. I suppose that Zanet is not open to life. She is attracted to death. She does not want to grow. The next scene is, I enter, but someone sees me and leads me out because it is a private property. I think that this experience, the suicide, will force Zanet to realize that such an act brought her back to point zero, perhaps because it was not her personal decision and or I should not try to interact with her. Symbols of death in general and of suicide are explained in the relationships section part 11.